everyone it is super nice outside right now like I feel like everything is covered in this beautiful golden autumn glow I didn't do it last week but for the whole month of October I am going to be doing different makeup that reminds me of Stanley Kubrick movies because he's like one of my favorite directors and a lot of his movies are kind of like Halloween-ish kind of spooky scary and disturbing this week it's obviously Clockwork Orange inspired um, I do not know what I want to do for the next two weeks, but um, I do know what I want to do for Halloween, so stay tuned because that is on a Saturday and I'm going to go all out for that one. You saw from my little montage at the beginning, today I went to Aldi and got groceries. I know I've told you guys like, oh, I only spend like $15 a week on groceries usually and people are just amazed at that. But Here's the thing, um, I'm only buying food for one person, um, and so a lot of people in different households, they're usually buying foods for, like, their, like, husband or wife or, um, kids or something like that, um, so it's kind of different, especially for, like, a college student's meals, and also I do get some of my meals, um, at work. If I do work for like three hours or more, I get a free meal and that is great because I don't have to buy anything. <laughs> so yeah, those two things definitely help me out, but most of the meals I have, I do eat at home and I do actually make. So I did a challenge to prove that I actually do spend around $15 per week on food. So I thought, hmm, while I'm, while I'm shopping today, I want to buy food for at least three weeks and so I did that I went into the store like thinking that and I actually ended up spending around $47 there and I think 45 of that was just on food so yeah that would be around um like $15 for every week and I will actually put the numbers up here so you guys can see that but um yeah, it actually ended up being true, and I'm really proud of that. I want to make two lists. I want to make one list about stuff I don't buy and about stuff I do buy. So a little bit more about what you want to get and what you can get to keep the price of your food down, because that really does add up over time or even over one shopping list. Like I know families, they usually spend about like $200 per shopping and that's just kind of like insane to me <laughs> like I know I'm just a single person but I mean for four people for like three weeks I get um $200 but if it's for one week like there's no reason you should be spending $200 for a family of four for food so I usually go to Aldi because it has like cheap and um pretty decent quality food and some of it is really good like the cheese I know that's like top-notch kind of in the u.s but um yeah they their food is like way cheaper than target or even walmart and you know how walmart is like always trying to be the cheapest and they're like oh we gotta treat our employees terribly just to make our food cheap a few healthy things i buy that make my shopping trips cheaper before anything else i buy like some rice and especially brown rice because that has kind of more like nutrients and more fiber and stuff. I think that makes it a lot easier because one, rice is really cheap and it's kind of a good base for like any recipe or just like a lot of different recipes. Can't go wrong with rice, honestly. And I also buy tortillas instead of bread and I really like tortillas a lot better because one, it's a lot less calories for one tortilla than two pieces of bread, especially like a smaller tortilla. And two, it's better because you can make so much more with a tortilla than you can with bread. Like you can make a burrito, you can make like a sandwich, you can make a quesadilla, you can make a wrap, you can make anything. And it's just a really good, cheap and versatile ingredient for any shopping list. So buy a lot of frozen vegetables, which is really a great way of like adding nutritional value to a meal. Like frozen vegetables are way better than just like regular fresh vegetables if you're on a budget or if you are like on the go a lot because they don't really spoil as easily like it will take months to years 
for something to go bad in your freezer especially if it's like still in the package and stuff and yeah it's just like way better and it's better than canned stuff because canning um one it can ruin the taste of things and it can um kind of take away some of the nutritional value F frozen vegetable and fruit is a good way to add your fruits and veggies I usually buy ground turkey instead of ground beef for my recipes which really actually helps because ground turkey is better in a lot of ways than ground beef especially like in the nutritional content and it's usually cheaper it's usually like one or two dollars cheaper than ground beef actually is um it actually has less calories and less like fat content than ground beef and um i think it's better for the environment beef actually um takes a lot of water and a lot of like food consumption and also um a lot of our like water problems are caused by beef farming and I am not against like eating meat or anything I just think it has to be done more sustainably and yeah I will eat like beef in the future but I just don't buy it be easily substituted and I honestly think in some cases ground turkey is tastes better especially in like um chili and tacos and stuff so yeah Try it out and see what you think. And I just usually do like canned beans and tomatoes and stuff because they last long and good source of flavor and nutrients at the same time. And they're also very versatile in recipes. Stuff I don't buy is like bread. I don't get a lot of chips or candy or cakes or anything like that. Or like frozen pizzas or anything. Because I know like that may seem like a good few meals. Like you can make it a few meals with a frozen pizza but sometimes I'm I end up like binging the whole thing and so I just decided like not to buy that kind of stuff and to make my own meals with like one serving size of each thing I also I don't buy a lot of like potato chips if I do buy chips I do buy like corn chips because I can make recipes with it I don't buy a lot of like milk or ice cream or anything like that. The only dairy product I really consume on a regular basis is cheese and cheese has a lot of like different nutrients and different kind of things like that and I just really like the taste honestly like it just enhances most meals and yeah I'll eat cheese until the day I die but milk is just nasty to me in like most forms. Um, do like ice cream but no like I don't buy dessert for myself every day because that's kind of like a childish thing if you really think about it it's kind of like oh if you finish your meal you get dessert and I feel like a lot of adults especially in America still do that and it's just kind of occurred to me that that's not really something I need to do and it really adds up in price to do that every day I think if you really need that like chip taste of pumpkin seeds are a really good substitute for that and they have a lot more nutrients especially like potassium and stuff and yeah they're just actually a lot better than chips still I mean if you're really looking for a substitute um try pumpkin seeds I mean it's that time of year and you can actually buy a pumpkin and make them at home right now um and they actually do taste better that way than if you buy them from the store but store-bought ones are good too and so yeah that's my video I know it's a little different but I guess all of my videos are kind of different from each other next week since it is going to be my 10th video I want to do like a 10th video extravaganza where I answer 10 questions you guys give to me so if you want to ask me a question please send one in the comment section down below so yeah just send me any questions and I will answer them well thanks for watching everyone um I gotta go study for three exams and write one paper right now so bye everyone have a nice week and i'll see you at the 10th video extravaganza bye